Dude, that's the message that <laughs> I want people to hear. Okay, so what are you building? Like, what? how do you describe yourself now? Radreads.co. It's a... Uh, it's a movement. Um, <laughs> yes. It's a movement around being your best self. I think we're, as a, as a Western working society, I think we're emotional uh, couch potatoes. Hmm. And I would love to figure out what is the equivalent of a 15 minute walk for, for that, to like cure you of, of that or to exercise you in that way. So I have the answer. What is it? I have the one answer. Mushroom coffee? Chess. <laughs> Come on! I, We're going to start too. We're starting. Okay. So I go first, right? Your whole story <laughs> is that you were this big finance guy and then you left to go do the thing that you wanted to do and work on your own stuff. Why wasn't that world for you? Why'd you leave? So here's what happened. I got promoted at, at 31 and the average age would probably be like 40. Mm -hmm. I got this nine years early. And then I was like, yes, my life's easier. I got like a nicer apartment, right. um, you know, like bought some like more expensive jeans, but like, uh, I was like, okay, like I'm still the same person. Right. And like, I, I wasn't meaningfully happier just cause like I could stay at nicer hotels or had a nicer apartment. I'm like, wait a minute. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. this, this is, this, this is the delight. thing, like, right. this yeah. is what we're waiting for. I was like, it's not bad, right. but it's not like... It's not, there's no prize. There's no the paradigm party. shift. Right, right. there's like, no end of the rainbow. Yeah, I was like, really, guys? Yeah. Okay, so then you have, you go from finance, chasing the light at the end of the tunnel, mm. kind of figure out there isn't a light, and now you're building, or you're spending your time doing this thing called Rad Reads. Yeah. Uh, Talk to us about why Rad Reads is there's more of a there's a better promise at the end of that yeah journey. So, so I I'll get to that. Like in the process, like there were two things that kept coming up: mm -hmm. um, my ego mm -hmm. and fear. Mm -hmm. And like you know, like when you're like blazing your own trail and doing something that no one's done before, yeah. ninety nine percent of the people are gonna think you're a fucking lunatic. Like, I got multiple calls yeah. being like, yo, is everything okay? Yeah. Like, you want to talk? I'm like, ah. I think you're a lunatic sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Um, but, I probably am. But, it's, but it, that, you have to be, because, yeah. like, like, you see something that other people don't see. Right, right. And I, be, and I guess, I, and we'll get to what Rad Reads is, but I felt like I saw something that other people weren't right. seeing. But to be fair, there's a very good chance that... I go at the end of this path that I see and there's nothing there. Totally. And I'm insane. Like oh. that's the huge risk that it is, right? It's like Yeah, but I think that So that's the that's my like that's the ego thing is one thing, but like that fear is still yeah. very real. Yeah. Is do you have that? I think that or are you just like chilling? Mine I had two main fears. Uh, and I didn't really know them until I took that pause. And as soon as I realized them, I saw them everywhere mm. in, my, in myself and in others, but in myself pre predominantly. I was scared of my own death mm. and I was scared that I would have no money, uh, that I would like be broke and like not be able to, to like support myself and my family. Those are like two fears that I've carried with me my whole life. So you're, you're gonna die. Yeah. Uh, have you ever had no money? No, mm. um, I've, but I grew up very, I grew up with very little stuff. Right. So but it's very different. So no, I've never once felt like I could never have a roof or food. You have to cover your needs and have a buffer for like when, when things don't work out for you. And on top of that, when you have kids, like think about their future needs. Totally, totally. But I think that like, if there was like a number, you know, it's like, this is the number of what you really need. Yeah. Most people think it's this. Yep. And this difference is fear. Totally. And so I think I used to 
think that this was the fear. Now it's, it's this. That. Yeah. And that's a really fucking empowering yeah. thing totally. to, to realize. Yeah. Mine's um, probably like that. <laughs> <laughs> like, chicken like, and you know, rice. Yeah. <laughs> if I have chicken and rice, I'm good. And, and that's that's the thing is that like it's really so it's not even fear. Like this is fear and this is fear of fear. Yeah. Yeah. Um and the things that people do to, to get that to yeah. because of this. They like they build their entire lives. Yep. Most people have built their entire lives around that. Yep. Um and I feel really lucky that A, I realized that and B, I could go from this to that. I first of all it's like, well, what does it mean to to live a fulfilled life, right? What is a whole life? Like there's so much there's like so much research about this and it's like very like simple things is um, do you do a thing that that uses your skills mm -hmm. um, is there purpose behind the work that you're doing mm -hmm. um, do you are you able are you loved by people and are you able to love others so do you have like a community mm -hmm. um, are you physically healthy and are you are you mentally healthy like those are kind of like the parameters of like like of happiness right uh and so to your money question it's like yes like you don't want to ever like dip into like below here because that's when like you genuinely have the fear of like oh i could be homeless or like mm -hmm. i could like do something irresponsible for my family mm -hmm. but like if you're like safely out of this zone then you then you should focus on those different pillars, right? right? So if you think about rad reads, right? It's like, is there a mission? Like, is there a purpose in what I'm doing? It's like, I wanna, like that whole window that's like looking at the world like this, I want them to look at it like that. Mm -hmm. Like that's my mission. Um, and because I think that if that happens, like lots of great things will happen to everyone around them. So that's like. Like what's a great thing? Um, what is a great thing is like you stop worrying. Hmm. Um, you like you enjoy like going to work every day. Mm -hmm. um, someone cuts you off and you just like smile at them. You know, it's just like like this calmness. You know, uh, there's this great quote like uh, I don't I don't pursue happiness. I pursue equanimity. Hmm. And I find that when I, when I find equanimity, I become happy. Hmm. And so it's this calmness where it's like, like life is volatile, you know? It's like, like for, the, for all of us, like life's gonna move in, in the upward trajectory. We're smart, we're privileged. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we have opportunity. This fear is not like totally right. real. Like we could all go live with our parents, God forbid, if yeah. something happened. Or just um, America. Yeah, exactly. America is like you're living better than 99. Yeah, the one person. The exactly. Like, yeah, we're, we're in the one percent in the chill. world. Yeah. Um, and so, like, the trajectory is gonna be up, but along the way, it's just gonna be like choppy. You yeah. Know? Like you might lose a loved one, you might get fired, you know, stuff like that. If you have those tools, the waves. It's like like without these tools. It's like some choppy, like hurricane swell, like waves are everywhere. Uh, but if you do have these tools, it's just like these like nice, like glassy longboarding waves. And you just kind of like, you just kind of like go with the flow. And then like, think about the noise. Like it doesn't mean to like be soft or anything. It's just like, you like see what you want and you could have really choppy waters just, or you could just have like a glassy ocean. Like, like which one do you want? Yeah. I, I, I give you an example with my TED talk. Like I don't like public speaking, and I was really bad at it in uh, in uh, in the business world. Mm -hmm. It was like one of my knocks on mm -hmm. me. It was like you should become a better public speaker. So this TED Talks, 15 minutes, no notes, 400 people in the audience. I rehearsed 15 minutes a day for the seven days leading into the talk. Hmm. Old like old K would have rehearsed like four hours a day, hmm. and I was in London. I would have had a miserable time because I'd constantly be rehearsing and like thinking about rehearsing. I rehearsed 15 minutes, walked around London, saw my friends, 
did some like writing. Do you think you got the same? I was better. Room? You were better. It was better. Wow. So the other thing that I encourage people to do is like think of their like success statement. Is right. what I call it. Like, what does success mean to you? Like, mm -hmm. well, let me ask you. Like, what is what does success mean to you? To me? Yeah. I can't tell the master plan. <laughs> um, give it. Give us a cliff note. Like, I would just want to build a, build like a, a world. Build a world. Just like a, a little functioning organism. That's cool. Where I guess we're we're in your world Welcome. right now. Welcome. If someone asks you like, what's a typical job for you, like your peers? All me and my friends, all we want to do is just like build the shit that we want to build and yeah. that we want to see exist, and do it with people that we like that believe in similar things. Yeah. And so like, I know girls. I know girls that are incredibly intelligent, and they're getting job offers at like these unbelievable. <clears throat> firms in the city but they're like begging me to introduce them to someone at like glossier yeah to be their head of social media or something yeah. and it's like wait what like you're 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 turning down 250k a year to just like go at an entry-level position of an e-commerce site yeah and like wow what is that and they're just like i don't care i yeah. just want to go do dope things with my friends yeah and it's yeah. like that is the world that we're living in. I think my generation is kind of realizing that like this and this and that is just filled with like Ferraris and like dumb shit anyways. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then it's not really existent anyways. And again, like chicken, if chicken and rice is there yeah. and like I have somewhere to stay yeah. and I'm with people that are dope, like that's kind of it. And yeah. then that's really all I care about. And then I think even the dream of being like Mark Zuckerberg is sort of fading into the back because... Like, maybe that isn't the best world. And so maybe this whole idea of, like, chasing this gigantic disruption to be a, co a corporate billionaire, like, mm -hmm. all my friends don't give a shit. Yeah. They just want, like, I'm just building a fucking pillow, yeah. doing a talk show with my yeah. friends, and, like, it's Showing dope. Like, yeah, yeah, like, why not? Just yeah. keep on doing that. And I think, so going back to the death thing, there was this the like seminal book in like the study of the psychology of death is this book called the denial of death. Yep. Um, and I'm still going through it, but the main, the, the main argument is that we f humans fear death so much mm -hmm. that it makes you want to live a heroic journey, hmm. a heroic life. And that heroic life can mean being Mark Zuckerberg, Steve mm -hmm. jobs. It could mean like writing a book, it's like whatever, like, or creating a legacy in your family, like yeah. the way, and, and Becker takes the argument even further. And he, he goes, because we're so blinded that that's why we're doing these things, that in the process, we start wars mm -hmm. and we destroy the environment. Yeah. And, and so it, it is that like, I think for me, there was this like recognition that like, I think for me, it was like, well, do I want to start the venture back? company is like no like it was ego but it was also that fear of like i want to know that i i mattered but it i mattered in like a fast company way <laughs> like it's like some bullshit <laughs> right, right, um, right. whereas like now i want to know that i matter in like a real kind of human to human way totally. versus like the tombstone way of right, like, right, you know, right. like the, the lazy way. Yeah, the second I stopped caring about making money, I started making money. <laughs> that's the, that's that you asked me that same question. Yeah. About my TED talk. Like, yeah, yeah. Like, was it better if you like? I rehearsed less, and it was better. Uh -huh. You stopped caring about money. You made more money. Yeah. It's the Dallas shit. That's so real, dude. That's the message that <laughs> yeah. I want people to hear. Yeah. It's fucking obvious to you and I, well, I mean, obvious to me in the sense of like, I had to like chip away <laughs> yeah, at like yeah. fucking like, yeah. like my like outer shell to get to it. Yeah. But like yeah. most, most people, and once you see that, right. then it's like, dude, yeah. like, it's, yeah, it's then like, you it's just like, you just, you just go and you just go and like, all right, I think that's it. I think we'll end on the, on, end on the message. Dude. That was awesome. Brad Reeds.